Hi, Virgo. I'm Pam, the lucky mermaid, psychic, seer, and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of September 2021. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in this month of September. And remember, sometimes your, your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Ascendant, and Virgo Moon. And I'm using the Rider Weight Tarot deck. All that being said, Virgo, now on to your September 2021 Psychic Tarot reading. And the first card you have, Virgo, is the Sun. And this is joy, exuberance of childhood happiness and joy. It could be love. It could be the birth of a child. It can mean success in the material world. It can mean the spotlight being on you. Some of you are starting to get ready to travel. You may feel like you want to see the world. And if you're not uh, getting ready to travel, you may be doing some other type of travel where you are searching out different cultures or things in the world on the Internet or studying about other cultures, other countries. So either traveling and getting out there to do it, which I feel many of you want to do or are doing or doing it via research and study on the internet. Some of you are really valuing your time strongly, not that you haven't done so before, but you may be even more so. And you may be even thinking about planting a garden. This could be for a variety of reasons. Maybe things going on out in the world is making you concerned about the availability of food. Some of you may be doing it because you just have a knack for, you know, you're an earth sign. You may really like uh, planting gardens, watching things grow. Now, you may say, well, that's a little weird. If the area I live in, it's going to turn, it's the end of summer going into fall. There's still things you can plant at that, that will grow in the fall that you can plant now. You can look it up and research it. I just came across it the other day. So, uh, but you may live in a place where, in your part of the world, where that makes sense. It may not make sense to some of you, but if you research it, you'll find out there is some things you could be planting now. Some of you are going to galvanize something, putting something in stone. So to me, this is like, it could be putting something in writing, could be coming up with a contract. Uh, could literally be something, maybe you're doing something with masonry, with stone. Maybe you're laying a uh, pavers or uh, maybe you need to, maybe you're making some kind of sculpture in stone. Or if somebody has passed away, you could be having their gravestone carved or some marker made. Uh, but galvanizing something and galvanizing something in stone comes up for some of you Virgos in the month of September. Some of you may have some kind of situation that arises where you have to change your address. Now, it may not mean that you're moving. It may mean that maybe your town has changed something where I've seen this happen. I have seen this happen where a town changes their town line or suddenly a post office that was covering one part of town. Now it's the town next to it is covering it. So you may have to change your address or maybe you've been in the process of moving and you didn't move all the way yet. And now you have to do a lot of address changes with, you know, the bills you, you're going to receive or for in income tax purposes. So I, I pick up that some of you Virgos will be changing your address. Now, it could even be because you're literally moving. 
some of you Virgos are going to find out that you won something. This could be a contest or a job that you wanted to get, but like winning something comes up here for some of you Virgos. So the next card you have in your reading is the Five of Rods, and this is an internal struggle going on in you, or it's a struggle among family members, co-workers, or any kind of clubs, groups, or organizations that you belong to out in the world. You're going to understand something that went wrong in some kind of system that there was some kind of breakdown. Now, this could be something going on out in the world, uh, but it could be something in your own, like some system break breakdown. Did your computer system fail? Did a piece of machinery you own break down? Did your, you know, some kind of technology or a machine or a car or a vacuum cleaner, a lawn mower, uh, a tiller, uh, whatever you have that is could have some malfunctions or breakdowns. This could also be within a structure within a family or a system of like at a business or at work. But for some of you, this is actual uh, some kind of machinery. It could be something that you do for work, even, you know, at work. So you just have to see how it plays out for you. You may even feel like there's someone in your life or somebody around you that's kind of losing it. They may be, you know, they may, maybe they have some kind of like emotional disruption, depression, or uh, some kind of disorder that is acting up or coming out. And I feel that, you, you know, I mean, lots of things could cause that, many things. Uh, you may feel like you want to hold them, like take care of them, suppress them, uh, suppress the outbursts, suppress the issue, uh, get them to get medical attention or some kind of, uh, maybe they need to change their diet and exercise or what they're eating. Or maybe they need to be on some kind of medication or some natural remedy. Uh, to help this situation because I feel like you're watching somebody kind of lose it mentally or emotionally or physically or both and you may be the one that wants to come to their aid or try to help them or try to rescue them this maybe it's even some something like epilepsy or some kind of uh, I don't know like there's so many things that could be physical mental emotional it could be a combination thereof but that's what I see strongly for some of you Virgos some of you are going to witness some of you Virgos are going to witness people being very mutinous at work where people may be against the policies or the higher-ups and could start uh, yeah, it could even be like a union dispute or uh, just even if there's no union where you work, there could be an uprising of people not agreeing with certain uh, policies that are going on. It's highly likely here in September. You could even witness some people like riding on the streets. It, it's possible. I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised in September that this is what could be happening and it's coming up in your reading Virgo so you have to see how it plays out for you which of those applies to you so you have the two of swords crowning your reading and this is a block a stop or a stalemate this could indicate uh, you're protecting yourself emotionally it could also be uh, you're protecting your heart you could have difficulty in making some kind of decision here. There's a lot of emotions tied up in this situation. You could have some complications with something that you value. There could be some kind of breakdown here. Uh, it could have to do with your home, your residence. It could have to do with your finances. Some of you could have some kind of this. It could even apply to this. Uh, you could even have some kind of heart complication or issue that crops up. Uh, for some of you, it could be that. 
Some of you Virgos are going to be very uh, testing the waters because something that's going on in September, you're not fully trusting it. And it could be something you're hearing portrayed out there in the world that you're hearing through uh, a variety of different sources, or it could be through what close people close to you are talking to you about. You may not be trusting them at this time either. So it could be things going on out in the world, or it could be, and that you're hearing from a variety of different sources, or it's coming from people with whom you are connected to more on a personal level. I also feel that some of you Virgos are going to be closing yourself off to people or situations that are trying to test you or manipulate you or coerce you into something that you don't want, that you don't believe in or that you're unsure of. You may, maybe you, maybe it's just things you're unsure of, but for some of you, it's things you don't believe in. And I feel like another thing is happening here for you, Virgos, is you're really closing some things off. Maybe you're going to stop watching TV or stop watching so many things on the internet or on your phone, because I feel that some of you Virgos want to shut off some things and be more in tune and pay attention to what your own intuition is trying to tell you. You may be very stubborn right now about, uh, which I'm not saying stubborn in a bad way, that makes it sound bad, but you may be closing yourself off to the fact that you only want to deal with facts and not hearsay. So you may be very adamant about that. Adamant is a better word than stubborn. Uh, you may be very adamant that you are not going to subscribe or believe in anything or make any big choices or decisions unless you have facts. That may be very strong on some of the minds of the Virgos out there. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. And the next card you have in your reading is the temperance card, which is God working through you in what you're doing, thinking, creating, and saying. It could also be uh, you being an alchemist, right? Uh, this could also be patience. Maybe you need to have more patience now. I feel that you feel things are shifting and changing in life and that you are seeking to find equilibrium and balance in September and maybe even moving forward. Something that you wanted to see that you hoped was going to pan out, some of you may see that opportunity or situation slip away and not work out. This may cause you to change some actions or decisions that you want to make moving forward. Some of you are going to be very uh, driven to want to sell off things that you don't use or want or need anymore. Some of you are going to be driven to do that. You could be doing it. I see, I keep seeing the computer when my guides are saying this to me. So I feel some of you may be putting things on online to sell some of you but some of you could be having estate sales yard sales uh, but there's a variety of ways to sell things on the internet and I feel that some of you are going to be doing that some of you are thinking about broadening your scope of knowledge and you may want to train in some new way so 
that could be maybe something you want to do that's going to help you in your own personal life and enrichment. That could be training and education you want to expand for a business that you have or want to start. Or it could be a new career path uh, that you want to pursue. You're also going to be getting some insight. Remember earlier I said something may break down that needs fixing? I do get you're going to get some insight where your spirit guides are going to directly communicate to you somehow how to go about handling this thing that breaks down and how to maybe even for you to fix it, how to fix it. So you could get dreams, visions, flashes of insight or inspiration. Uh, you know, the guides love to have things just pop up like you turn on the TV and there's a commercial that's saying just what you need the answer to. Or you turn on the radio in the car and two people are having a discussion and what are they discussing? The thing that you've been thinking about or pondering and you get some kind of insight or answer. Uh, or open up a magazine or a book and lo and behold, there's a paragraph telling you how to just what the issue was that was in your mind. So be on the lookout because your spirit guides, I'm getting it, are they're the ones that are going to be giving you the key, the answer, the solution of how to fix something that's been broken. Now, it could be, like I said, machinery or equipment or technology, but it could also be something internally in you that you feel has gotten disrupted or broken down. So your last card of the reading, Virgo, this is a very good card. You have Ace of Wands, and this is new beginnings. It could be new beginnings in all kinds of ways, a new job, a new place to live, a birth of a child, a new love relationship. It could indicate uh, even receiving an inheritance. Many things can come up, new love even, new business, new work, because it's Wands, uh, the birth of something, a child even. I get you starting to clear the path for something you want to do now. So some of you may, I really do feel some Virgos are going to make a decision like, you know what? With the way the world's going, I'm not going to keep doing this job anymore. I'm going to stop that because there's no joy in it or it's okay, but it's not the end all be all for me. And what I really want to do is have a farm or have a ranch and raise horses or board horses or have a farm where I till the land or it doesn't have to be that. It could be whatever you want. Maybe you have had some vision all along. Like, you know, I really would love to own a pet store or I would love to make travel arrangements for people and be like a travel agent. I don't know, do they have them anymore? I don't know. Every, I'm dating myself there, you know? In the old days, that's what you used to do. Uh, you used to go to travel agents when you wanted to take a trip. Now there's all these websites, but you get the idea. Something that you always were like, I really would love to do that. Some of you are gonna be giving up something that you've done for a while or a, a career path you thought you were gonna go on and you're gonna shift gears here. Some of you, I get, I get this again. Sometimes messages are repeated. I, I can't control it when they do it, so you have to bear with me. I do get that some of you are going to have some kind of sale. You may have an estate sale. You may have a yard sale. You may have an auction sale. It comes up here again. But I feel like those of you that are doing it, it's because you're clearing the path away for some new project or plan that you are going to then go after and, and embark on. I feel like that's why you're doing it. I also feel that some of you were, are going to be giving a lot of things to charity, to different charities. Some of you are going to start your own business, and I feel if you do that, it's going to be very successful. But, you know, businesses sometimes take a while, so don't be disheartened if it doesn't take off like, an, like a flash you have to have the capital to give it time for it to take off. Some of you are going to get awarded something. 
if you're in music, you're going to get like this silver baton uh, or gold baton if they have such a thing or getting some kind of an award. Like maybe you're going to get employee of the month. Some of you are going to get recognized for something great. If you did some active heroism, maybe you're getting some kind of military star or accommodation, a military accommodation. But some of you, it could be getting awarded a raise or a new position because that all is swirling. All those things are swirling around this. So whatever you've been involved in, like maybe you've been involved in a club group or organization that does charitable works and good deeds and you spearheaded it. You were the, you know, head person. So maybe you or the organization you belong to is going to get some kind of award or, you know, plaque, trophy, award. I wouldn't be surprised. So now I'm going to look into the gemstone crystal that I got for you this month, which is Smoky Quartz. And Smoky Quartz is a grounding and powerful money stone. It disperses fears and depression. It brings emotional calmness, relieves, it relieves stress and anxiety, promotes positive thoughts and action, brings psychic and physical protection, abundance, prosperity, and good luck. It's going to help you get more into balance. It's going to help you to get more centered, a more, uh, especially when it comes to where you're changing your focus of what you're going to do for work or creatively or mentally. Uh, it's going to help you get more grounded, centered, and focused. It's also going to help give you some kind of oomph. I don't really understand this, but my guides are saying an oomph to your personal uh, appearance. Now, I believe that that happens actually through energetically through your aura. So I feel like if you wear this as a beaded bracelet or wear it as a pendant or sleep with it under your pillow, it's going to help your aura. So you may have people start complimenting you more like, hey, what'd you do, Virgo? What'd you change? You look different. You look really good. You look younger or you look uh, fit or more vibrant. It's also going to help you expand your mind and help you get out of any tunnel vision that you have because sometimes tunnel vision is not the best thing to have. So if you've had too narrow of a view or perspective on anything, a family situation, a job, uh, things going on out in the world, whatever, you may have had tunnel vision and, and been in too narrow of a perspective. Or, you know, could it be about a love relationship even? This is going to help you broaden your mind and open your mind up to a broader perspective. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record with the psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides on very specific topics using a variety of divination tools, you can get my Vimeo videos, which I post those most recently recorded down below in the description box in the show more section. And the links are also available on my website, theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos tab on my menu, and there you will see all the video series listed. You just read the descriptions, see how long the predictions are going out for, and you select the sign, the zodiac sign you want, click on that, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, the most recent video series I've recorded is the Horseshoe Tarot Spread Psychic Tarot Reading, which is seven cards. And this was actually one of the most popular uh, biggest sellers out of all my videos on Vimeo. And the last time I did the Horseshoe Tarot spread was two years ago. So 
If you're interested to see what that's all about, please go check that link out below. And there is always a trailer for each of those Vimeo videos you can watch before you make your purchase and decide if you want to purchase. The other most recent video series I've recorded is my mid-year love update 2021 psychic tarot crystal and oracle card readings for singles and coupled people of your sign. And those predictions go out six months. So in each video, the first half of the video is for the single people of your sign. The second half of the video is for the coupled people of your sign. Uh, down below is also my mid-year psychic tarot update for 2021 for the last six months of this year. So if you haven't checked that out, you might want to do so. I did the center of the Celtic cross tarot spread. So uh, I believe that's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six cards uh, of the center of the Celtic cross for each sign of the zodiac. Also, my solar eclipse in Gemini, June 10th, 2021, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings, that's available and that lasts six months. Keep in mind, the eclipses that we had in May and June are being activated right now. You're in, there's activations going on astrologically speaking, and you're in the hotbed of it of those eclipse effects. I also did a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, May 26, 2021, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. Those predictions were being affected by that right now, that eclipse. I did the same format for both of the eclipses. If you haven't checked that out, you might want to do so. My career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings they go out for uh, 12 to 18 months, which would be the end point, I believe was like November of 2022. So we have a lot more time for those predictions. And that was another big seller. People request, uh, people, I get a lot of written requests from people for the career and finance psychic tarot readings. So you might wanna check that out. Also my Saturn in Aquarius, psychic tarot crystal, psychic tarot and crystal readings. Those predictions go out three years. So they go out until March of 2023. So there's a lot of time left on those predictions. You might want to look into that as well. And my what's lucky and new for you in 2021, psychic tarot and oracle card readings. They started in March of 2021 and they go until March of 2022. So we still have a lot of time left in those predictions. Also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not gonna see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgiel on Instagram. I use a variety of divination tools, uh, the crystal, oracle cards, and tarot. Usually it's in writing. They're usually about five paragraphs long, filled of predictions and messages. Sometimes I do a video, but it's usually in writing. If you feel compelled to see what's over there, I'm sure there would be a message or prediction in those five paragraphs that will apply to you. Many people do find they resonate with them and you might as well. Also, I wanna tell you here, um, I've had my account cloned or copied or faked uh, at least three or four times now on Instagram. I wanna make an, an announcement here. I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I do not solicit any followers, friends or followers on Facebook or Instagram for readings. I never do it. There's only one account. There's no multiple accounts. I don't solicit people and ask them if they want readings. I have a wait list of over 500 people I had to close in 2018. I'm still working from it. And I have a cancellations list of over 800 people that I work from that as well. I do not 
even make a schedule live for people to book anymore uh, like I used to do. And I do not solicit people for readings on social media. So please block and report anybody that's doing that because they're scamming you. They're trying to scam you out of money and I am not doing that. So I also want to say here, if you would like to help support the readings and the uh, work I do here for all of you on YouTube, you could make a donation to my channel and that link is connected to PayPal and is down below all the other links for the videos on Vimeo. I want to give a big thank you to all of you who have been so kind and so generous and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot and it does help a lot. And recently, I mean, I, I get donations a lot. It happens here and there, but I've gotten a burst of them recently. So really a big thank you to those of you who value what I'm doing here and, you know, give me that donation. I do appreciate it. So I wish you all an absolutely phenomenal September and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.